All right, so today is the night before the Banana Pudding Festival in Monterey, Tennessee. I've never been to this festival before. There are 24,000 people on Facebook interested in the event and they've done a lot of marketing for it. They've had a girl dressed up as a banana going around all over Middle Tennessee. There's supposed to be over 120 vendors. There's petting zoos. There was talks of a sloth being there. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I kind of just wish I could go as a visitor um, and not so much as a vendor just because it sounds like fun in general. There's like a banana pudding contest where the grand prize is $1,000. So lots of good food, lots of good art and fun, and I'm excited to go. I have really stocked up on both my banana prints and then I've made a special print, a special painting just for this event. So this is my latest painting. It's a banana pudding in a glass thing. <laughs> I actually ordered a hundred stickers to come of that banana pudding painting, but unfortunately I think they're, they're gonna get here like tomorrow. Like maybe tomorrow or Sunday, which will be a day too late. No worries though, because if it's a really good festival, I'm, I'll come back the next year and do it again. Every booth has to have a banana pudding item themed item. So that's mine. And I'll have that and I'll have banana prints, which are popular just year round in general. And I'll have the banana stickers as well. Really looking forward to it. I'm, I hope it uh, was better than last time. Uh, my last vendor event was pretty much couldn't have gone worse. I sold one thing, but it was really bad for everybody. Uh, I made a video about it. It's going to be down in the description below. I'm but looking forward to it. I'm very hopeful that it'll turn out better than the last. I mean, 24,000 people interested. Obviously, not that many people are gonna come, but I'm hopeful. And I mean, if 24,000 people interested doesn't get the crowd there, then I don't know what will. If the sloth won't get the people there, I don't know what will. Okay, I'm in the car. We're here, I have an update. There are lemurs and kangaroos at this event. Um, I might be able to break away from the booth. Hopefully not, hopefully it'll be too busy to, but yeah, it comes at a cost. It's now Monday. It's been two days since the Banana Pudding Fest in Monterey. I just wanted to go over some of my best sellers and how the show went overall. My booth fee was 163 after tax.
and my sales were 196. This was a one day event from 10 to four. And this means that my profit was $33. It was about an hour and 10 minutes away. Overall, was it worth it, you know, money-wise? No, it wasn't. It was pretty packed. It was, I mean, there were I, there was thousands of people there lined up to do banana pudding stuff. Uh, I really feel like myself and a few other vendors kind of stood out and not in the best way. Uh, it just didn't fit the vibe of the rest of the show. And it really wasn't like a fine art type of show. It was more of like a family fun sort of festival theme. Lots of good food, food trucks, um, people out bringing their dogs and their kids and that's all fine, you know, but it's just not my clientele. It was also kind of out in the country. Um, so it was just a different, different client base than what I'm used to. And I think a different client base than what my art attracts. You know, it wasn't the best show. I really expected more from this show. Um, I really thought, you know, being 24,000 people interested on Facebook, there's gonna be a ton of people show up, obviously not that many. Um, and there was a lot of people that showed up and I thought for that reason, I'm just gonna like blow it out of the park. Well, that just wasn't the case. I got a lot of, got to meet a lot of people, but it just wasn't, it just didn't fit. I just didn't fit in with the crowd there. Um, the people next to me, I mean, were selling cotton candy. The people across from me were Scentsy representatives. I had a nurse practitioner next to me. And then across the way from me was also like a bakery. So it was just not very, not a whole lot of art there. The artists that were there, it just, I don't know. I, I wonder if they did any good too. You know, 2023, I did a few very small shows in the city and I broke even. They, they're they not big shows, they're not very well known, but it just kind of got my feet wet. I, it was just like me and a table, right? This year I've done the show last month, which was a bust. Um, and it was the same kind of thing. Small town, family fun type of event. And I did poorly there because everyone did poorly there and it was terrible weather. So I thought, well, you know, let's just give this a shot. Let's give this banana pudding one a shot. And I gave it a shot. And I don't regret it. I don't regret going. It was really fun. It was the biggest event I've been a part of thus far. Got a lot of great food, met a lot of cool people. Got a lot of great feedback. 2024, I kind of had this goal set out to do like five or six shows in the year. And I'm talking like big tent, either one or two day shows. I've done two so far. The first one was a bus, second one, not great. I have one coming up next month, which is also kind of in a small town um, and doesn't have nearly as much traction as the Banana Pudding Fest. But I'm still, I mean, I'm obviously still gonna go. I still wanna see how it goes and how people respond to my stuff, even though I don't expect it to be great, to be honest. And that's okay. I mean, 2024 is really just about doing different types of shows, different settings, different people, different client bases, and just seeing who's buying my art, what art are people gravitating towards? What are people not buying? What are people not interested in? Do I do better in these small cities outside of the city or do I do better like in downtown Nashville? That's kind of what I'm figuring out at this point. As I do these shows, I'm picking up on things that are working for me and are not working for me. And I'm meeting people and I'm hearing about things that they recommend and don't recommend. I've already gotten 
um, connected with a couple people on Instagram about shows that I think really would fit with the stuff that I make. And if it wasn't for this show that didn't go as well as I thought it would, then I would have never probably found out about this show. I would have found out about it too, too late. I'm not bitter about it. It just kind of is what it is. The things that I sold were one eight by 10 banana pudding print. I started doing a deal where you get one sticker for $3 or four stickers for $10. And I had two people uh, vouch for the $10 option. Um, I sold three Diet Coke stickers, three Frenchie stickers, three purple hug stickers, two Starbucks stickers, one five by seven Diet Coke print, one five by seven Diet Dr. Pepper print. I sold five five by seven banana pudding prints, two Frenchie tote bags, which that's the first time I've ever sold those tote bags. I was just kind of trying it out and seeing if people were interested. Um, so I'm happy to see those kind of move off the shelves. I only have six total. Two Dr. Pepper stickers, two Diet Dr. Pepper stickers, and two Diet Dr. Pepper prints in 5x7. So there's definitely a theme here. I'm really known for my dog art. I take a lot of pride in my dog art. Uh, that's what I started out with. I've been drawing dogs for over 10 years. I've drawn hundreds of dogs. They've been commissioned from all over the US and Canada. And I've continued with that trend of painting dogs. And I really had this goal of like painting every main dog breed. And I don't know, I think that maybe that's not a realistic goal to set out. One, they take me the longest to paint out of any other subject. They're very detailed. Two, there's so many breeds of dogs. And I can't tell you how many people came up to my booth um, and said, oh, you don't have a Yorkie or, oh, you don't have a Shih Tzu or a Husky or, and no, I don't have a lot of dog breeds right now, but I just feel like as many as I paint, like it doesn't matter. Like there's always gonna be somebody coming up and saying, you don't have my kind of dog. Or I even have people saying, oh, well, this just doesn't like my Chihuahua, you know? Like I had the breed, but it just still wasn't right. So I wonder if I just need to, I don't know, not focus so much on dogs and focus more on things that people don't have to have that are so specific. It's like if I don't, if, if it's not the exact right color of dog or if it's not, you know, if it doesn't have this little patch of brown on one side of its face, then it's, it's not good enough to get, even though they like it. But things like food, drinks, I mean, these are subjects that don't have to be so specific for people to like and buy. And I wonder if that's more of the direction I need to go, is just generally likable objects that people will buy and relate to and put in their home that don't have to be so specific to them. And there's still things I wanna draw. I'm not gonna stop drawing things and painting things that I wanna draw. But I, you do have to consider, you know, what are people interested in? What are they not interested in? Because yeah, I love painting and I love to draw, but really I love the business part of it too. I love going to the markets and have people's faces light up when they see, um, when they see like my Diet Coke print, my Dr. Pepper print, people were coming into my booth because I had those front and center. And if it wasn't for those drawings that took me like, I don't know, six hours maybe to, to paint versus a dog, which would take maybe 20 or 30, then I wouldn't have had half the sales that I had. I wouldn't have had 75% of the sales that I had. So it's definitely something to consider moving forward. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Um, I'm gonna be doing 
more vlogs about art markets, art business, prints, art tutorials, and I plan on doing another vlog about my art market coming up in early May. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope that you took something away from this today. Oh, also, there was a monkey. I don't think it was part of the show. I think some girl just brought a monkey. So that alone was worth the trip. Anyways.